I'm immensely proud to deliver this draft council plan and industry leading budget, something we've done in consultation with our councillors, the staff and community through the Let's Talk campaign and through the Conversation Cafes. I'm councillor Amanda McLaren, Mayor of Strathbogie Shire. And today I'm here at beautiful Maipole to introduce you to our draft council plan. I'm very excited about this uh, council plan because it's a collaborative effort. It's certainly been something the community has been able to be involved in. And we want your feedback. We want you to have a look at it and let us know what your thoughts are. As part of the lead up to the development of our draft council strategy, we held conversation cafes throughout the Shire. This group of councillors have made a big effort to go out and hear what the community has to say and we've got great results. We've worked with our communities, we've gone out and we've listened and we've come up with a plan that we're really proud of. And we received a wonderful feedback from people on what they wanted. This is actually a community plan, it's about working together. And we're now going to implement those ideas. We want to support what you want and so it's all about you really. All of this is to make sure that our rural residents are productive and prosperous. We have a goal in our council plan which is goal number five about um, high efficiency councils and this is something that we've prided ourselves on over the years. We are really blessed in the Shire of Strathbogie to have so many small towns with so much character and a diversity of people that live in them. We'll be advocating for better services to help us grow our Shire. And road safety forms quite a big part of that plan. We'll be looking at better transport, better mobile coverage, NBN services, education and other items that are really going to help us in our Shire. I'm really committed to supporting our public transport right across the whole Shire. The plan has got a lot in it about youth. That's an area that I'm particularly passionate about. I'm standing in the library right now and this has been upgraded recently with an area for the young people. One of the actions that's in our draft council plan for Violet Town, for example, is our streetscape and how we could potentially make that look a bit better, help it feel a bit more welcoming, how we encourage people to stay and stop. We are here to pr promote and support public businesses and whatever that we can get for industry and development across the whole Shire. One of the great initiatives in the plan is to try and cut the use of plastic bags that end up as litter in our environment. One of the initiatives we're looking at is the promotion of boomerang bags so that we cut out the use of plastic shopping bags which end up as litter. One of the things that this council is trying to do is to provide free Wi-Fi for our towns and across the Shire. It's a great opportunity for tourism and for our young people. Also in our draft council plan, we have a focus on attracting families and more people to come and live in our Shire. We're really excited by a new initiative that we've come up with as part of this council plan, the two-year rates freeze for first home buyers in the Strathbogie Shire. Along with the state government initiative and the federal government initiative, the two-year rate freeze will allow a saving of up to $40,000 for an average home throughout our Shire. As part of our draft council plan, we're also looking at providing more services to young couples to come and live in our Shire. As part of that focus, we're going to move our maternal and child health program to the Avenal Kindergarten situated just behind me. Sporting clubs are the lifeblood of country communities and we want to support improved infrastructure across our Shire. I'm standing at Ngambi Recreation Reserve and we're going to support their master planning. In the development of our council plan, we heard loud and clear from residents that we needed to do much more with maintenance of our rural road network. It's also going to enable us to have a program of maintaining our smaller gravel roads, roads that we haven't paid attention to for over 10 years. Behind me is one of the most dangerous rail crossings you could possibly experience. And we've got that in the council plan to advocate to various bodies to try and get a safer crossing here. In the first year of the plan, we've got a $13.1 million capital works program. This program is going to enable us to replace bridges like this one, here in Sheehan's Creek, which has reached the end of its useful life. Welcome is a word that we have had come up quite a bit in the feedback building to this draft council plan, and it was in particular relation to refugees. The idea is to make the Shire of Strathbogie a refugee welcome zone, and it's a real opportunity for us as a Shire uh, to show our support for the refugee cause and to increase our diversity and our empathy uh, for the process that they're going through. The council thinks that we've come up with a really innovative council plan and we want to thank our community for their participation in this process. We did spend a lot of effort on putting this council plan together to grab that diversity and we hope that all that feedback, all that consultation that we did 
in putting this draft together is represented here. It's been an innovative process and we've really been very grateful for all of the ideas that have come through as part of our Let's Talk, We're Listening campaign. It's something that through efficiencies, restructured share services, working with state and federal governments, we've been able to deliver a budget and a council plan as a draft that I believe would be an industry leading. That's why I really encourage you to go and have a look at it, download it off the web, check it out and see that it does represent um, our community. The draft council plan and budget are on public exhibition until the 6th of June. So download your copy and give us your thoughts because we'd love to hear from you.